years ago, right when COVID was starting, the district started partnering with Education Elements. So at the time I was the principal of Seward Elementary School and I felt that we were in a good place to take on personalized learning. And we decided that with all of the challenges that our teachers were facing, that we would create a fellowship so that it was more of a voluntary piece for teachers so that we got teachers who were ready for it. We had the idea that we could really reach a lot more teachers if we leveraged our coaches in going through the fellowship. But the idea is, is that they will be employing the personalized learning strategies in their coaching cycles and also turn king at faculty meetings. So we'll be able to reach all of our teachers in the district from the elementary buildings right up through the high school. What we hope to see and what we have seen is just the enjoyment of learning and taking a step away from the traditional model that doesn't work for a lot of our students. And with personalized learning, we can better differentiate and meet all of their needs. And that's also comforting to the parents to know that we are working to do so. In the personalized fellowship, Ed Elements and myself lead certain staff members through the fellowship. And I can honestly say, even though last year was a very tough year for educators, a lot of the educators that were involved in the fellowship spoke very highly of their experience in the fellowship. And they also really were proud and excited to talk about the accomplishments that they saw in their children based on their own experiences in the fellowship. And that's really when you know that it's having an impact on student learning. I also think that the opportunity for the larger community to have an awareness of personalized learning last year was something that was very a proud moment in Auburn in the sense of developing a parent and community newsletter for all of the personalized learning fellowship sprints that we focused on was a huge accomplishment and a huge step forward to increase that transparency with parents and guardians as well as the larger community on what is happening in Auburn. And so the strength of this relationship really has evolved out of continuous communication. Ed Elements and myself meet every other week to go over specific agenda items and action items that we would like to accomplish. So when decisions are made in the best interest of our students in our district, there's a mutual trust between Elements and myself I think when taking a look at where our past practices have been around personalized learning and looking at trying to encompass a larger impact within our district and the choice of really focusing on our instructional coaches to do this work is something that is going to have probably the largest impact since our partnership with that element.